So here we are on October 23rd at the East Viewing Field of the Calhoun County Park. And the list is very short in this country of facilities that are making themselves a minimal, uh, amenable to amateur astronomers, especially without a membership fee. This is just a county park. And the leadership here has been so welcoming to the amateur astronomer community. This is a non-star party. This site was registering 21.2 on the sky darkness meter on Friday night when I was here. This is now Sunday night, and this is kind of an informal star party. And just to show you on this east observing field, one of the facilities that's still under construction, but you can see here is a men's and women's shower plus a laundry room and picnic shelter. So that's nearing completion. And where I am staying this week is a cabin that has been built by local schools. Um, and this is a, I'll show you the cabin in detail. Let's take a look at it here on some video. But what a wonderful f facility to rent and sleep in as I'm set up just literally outside the door here at the East Observing Field. And we have some fantastic setups that are here tonight. I'll give you a little video look at some of those setups here in a second. But this is the East Observing Field. If you haven't seen my Calhoun County video, please check that out. That's in the archives. But Calhoun County Park right here in West Virginia, we are really becoming astronomer friendly at our dark sky sites with Watoga State Park achieving dark sky, international dark sky status, other parks pursuing international dark sky status, and with Spruce Knob and their relationship at Experience Learning Center with the Northern Virginia Astronomy Club and now Calhoun County Park with their outreach to astronomers. There's also a second observing site that is up on a ridge. This is an old golf course and the field is so amenable to walking at night. You don't have to worry about ditches and ruts and holes. I haven't hit anything in either this east field or what would be called the ridge. But I think once this facility is open, the restroom and showers and laundry, then I don't think many people will stay up on the ridge. Some stay up on the ridge because there's access to a, a restroom that's a short walk. But this is the Calhoun County Park. And if you are an astronomer in the mid-Atlantic area, the Midwest, East Coast, and you're looking for a facility for dark skies, and very amenable to uh, camping and RV hookups. I'll share those RV hookups here as well as some in some video, but what a fantastic facility and I encourage you to check it out. The stargazing cabin sits at the northwest corner of the east observing field. This is the view due south, beautiful low horizons, the cabin supplements field camping. Campsites with electricity are $20 per night. The stargazing cabin is $125 per night for four people. It's $10 for each additional person. Now sleeping arrangements are, it has one queen bed in a bedroom, one sleeper sofa, two queen and one full mattresses in a sleeping loft upstairs. This is the view of the kitchen and the living room area. The cabin is heated and air conditioned. It has a fully equipped kitchen with servings for eight people. It has a bathroom with shower and towels and linens are included. This is the narrow stairway up to the lofts area where you have the two queen and one full mattress uh, available for sleeping. The bathroom and shower entrance is on your right in this image and the bedroom entrance is on the left. There is a full length front and rear porch with seating. There are no pets, no smoking and no alcohol permitted. Now, non-stargazers may rent the stargazing cabin. There is an etiquette book for them to reference so they know how to utilize lights and behave while there are astronomers on the field. And there are red lights inside and out that are powered by solar panels.
You never know what you might see at the park. Donnie Pitts was showing off this beautifully original Model A Ford. I got to spend some time with Larry McHenry and his wonderful electronically assisted astronomy setup. His 8-inch SCT working at f6.3. His all-sky camera. This is the night view in the back of his teardrop camper. What an amazing control center. And he has multiple monitoring systems and cameras attached to both telescopes and all-sky cameras and monitoring systems. I am going to include a link to Larry's report in the video description from this weekend. And he has a detailed listing of his equipment and how it sets up. And a little bit of a follow-up on the weekend up at Calhoun County. This scope here is dedicated to S2 filtering. This is the astrophysics on the AM5, ZWO AM5 mount, which is really performing well. Then the Rasa 8 is dedicated to O3 filter. Then I'm still gathering hours of data. I don't know if I said the object, but the object is SH2-224. So the Rasa is gathering that. I do have the Rasa uh, line splitter, the, the wire splitter there to help minimize the diffraction spike. So that's on the astrophysics mount. So that's what we're doing during this event here at Calhoun County. Uh, the project that we're working on, we're trying to gather 2,000 hours of narrowband data on SH2-224 and hopefully we'll have something on that come the end of December or early January.